from the Fairmont Hotel in the heart of Silicon Valley, it's theCUBE, covering When IoT Met AI, The Intelligence of Things. Brought to you by Western Digital. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown San Jose at the Fairmont Hotel at an event called When IoT Met AI, The Intelligence of Things. You've heard about the Internet of Things, now it's the Intelligence of Things, it's IoT, it's AI, it's AR. All this stuff is really coming to play. It's very interesting space, still a lot of startup activities, still a lot of big companies making plays in the space. So we're excited to be here and, and really joined by our host. Um, big thanks to Western Digital for hosting this event with Read Write Labs, Dave Tang. He's got a new, he got newly promoted since last we spoke, the SVP of Corporate Marketing and Communications for Western Digital. Dave, great to see you as usual. Oh, great to be here. Thanks. So uh, I don't think the need for more storage is going down anytime soon. That's kind of my takeaway. No, no, <laughs> yeah. This, this uh, wall of data just keeps growing. Yeah, I think the, the, the term we had yesterday at, a, at the ag event that we were at, um, also uh, sponsored by you, is really this, the, the, uh, the flood of yes. data using, a, using an agricultural term. Right. Um, but it's pretty fascinating as more and more and more data is not only coming off the sensors, right. but coming off the people and used in so many more ways. That's right, yeah, we see it as a virtuous cycle, right? You, you create more data, you find more uses for that data to harness the power and, and, uh, and unleash the, the promise of the, that data, and then you create even more data. So we're in that virtuous cycle of creating more and finding more uses of it. Right. And um, yeah, one of the things that we find interesting that's related to this event with IoT and AI is this notion that data is, is falling into two general categories, right? There's, there's big data and there's fast data, right? So big data, I think everyone is quite familiar with by this time, these uh, large aggregated lakes of data that you can extract uh, information out of, look for insights and connections between data, um, predict uh, the future and create more uh, prescriptive recommendations, right? Right, right. And, um, uh, through all, all of that, um, you can gain algorithms that that help to make predictions or can help uh, help machines run based on that data. So we've gotten, gone through this phase where we focused a lot on how we harness big data, but now we're taking these algorithms that we've we've uh, we've gleaned from that and we're able to put them in real time applications. Right, and that's right. sort of been the birth of, of fast data. It's been right. really intriguing. Right, streaming data. Right, we cover Spark exactly. Summit. We cover Flink, a new a new kind of open source project that came out of Berlin. That's kind of some people would say the next generation of Spark. And in and the other thing, you know, good for you guys is it used to be not only was it old data, but it was a sampling of old data. Right. Now on this new data and the data stream, it's all of the data. Right. So, and, and, I, and I would actually challenge, I wonder if that separation as you described will stay, because I got to tell you, the last little drive I bought just last week was, a, was an SSD drive, you know, one terabyte, I needed some storage, and I had a choice between spinning disk and, and, and right. not, and I went with the flash. I mean, because mm -hmm. what's, what's fascinating to me is the second order benefits that we keep hearing time and time and time again, once people become a data-driven enterprise, right, right. are way more than just kind of that top level thing that they thought. Exactly, yeah, and that's that's sort of that virtuous cycle. You get a taste and you learn how to use it and then you want you want more. Right, right. right. So, um, yeah, and that's, that's the, the great thing about uh, the, the breadth of technologies and, and products that, that Western Digital has is that from the, the solid state products, the, the higher performance flash products that we have, uh, to the higher capacity helium fill drive technologies, as well as devices going on up into, into systems, uh, we, we cover this whole spectrum of fast data and, and big data. Right, know, I'll give, right. give an example. So, um, credit card fraud detection is an interesting area, right? Billions of dollars potentially being, being lost there. Well, um, to, to learn how to predict when uh, transactions are fraudulent, you have to study massive amounts of data, right? Billions of transactions, and so that's the big data side of it. And then as soon as you do that, you can take those algorithms and run them in real time. So as transactions come in for authorization, those algorithms can de determine before they're approved, that one's fraudulent and that one's, that one's not. Save right. a, lot of, a lot of time and, and processing for, for fraud claims. So, so that's a great example of, of you know, once you learn something from big data, you apply it to the real-time realm, uh, and, uh, and, and it's, it's quite valuable, right. right? And then that spawns you to collect even more data because you, you want to find 
find new new applications right. and new uses. And then two kind of this wave of computing back and forth from you know the, the shared services computer, then you know right. the desktop computer. Now it's back to the cloud, and then now with, and out with to the edge. IoT, right? It's yeah, all about the right. edge. And and at the end of the day, it's going to be application specific. What needs right. to be processed locally? What needs to be processed yeah. um, back at the computer? And then all the different platforms. We we were again at a. Navigate, uh, navigation for autonomous vehicle show. Who knew there was such a thing that small? Right. And and even you know the attributes of the storage required in the um, ecosystem of a car, right? And the environmental conditions. That's that was right. the word I'm looking for. Completely different, new opportunity, kind of new class of of hardware required to operate in that environment. And again, that that still combines cloud and edge sensors right. and maps. Right. So just. Um, yeah, I absolutely. don't think the demand's going down, Dave. I think yeah. you're in a good spot. You're, right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. And even though we try to simplify it into you know fast data and big data and core and, and edge, um, what we're finding is is that applications um, are, are are increasingly specialized and have specialized needs in terms of, of the type of data. Is it uh, large amounts of data? Is it streaming? You know, what are the what are the performance characteristics? You know, and and how is it how is it being transformed? How, what's the compute aspect of that? And what we're finding is that the, the days of general purpose compute and storage and memory platforms are, are fading. And, right, and we're right. getting into environments with increasingly specialized architectures uh, across all those elements, compute, memory, memory and, and storage. So um, that, that's what's really exciting to, to be uh, in our spot in the industry right, right. is that um, we're, 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 we're looking at creating the future by developing new technologies that, that, that continue to fuel that growth even further and, the, and, and fuel the, the uses of data even right. further. Right, and fascinating just the, the, ongoing, the ongoing cadence of Moore's Law, which I know it's not, you know, you're not making microprocessors, but you know, I think it's so powerful, Moore's Law really is a philosophy uh, right. as opposed to uh, an architectural spec, right? right. Just this, this relentless pace of, right. of innovation and you guys just continue to push the envelope. So what are your kind of priorities? I can't believe we're halfway through 2017 already, but, <laughs> but, but for kind of the balance of the year, kind of what are some of your top of mind things? I know it's exciting times, you're going through the merger, you right. know, the, the company is in, in a great space. What, what are your kind of top priorities for the next several months? Well, so um, I, I think as a company that has gone through uh, serial acquisitions and integrations, of course, uh, we're, we're continuing to, to drive the transformation of the overall not business. The fun stuff, right? right? Not the so, integration so the, stuff. The, <laughs> right, the, the, yeah, that is that is uh, that is the uh, stitching the, the, together the, the ERP right? systems, right? But uh, yeah, the, the the fun stuff includes uh, you know pushing pushing the limits even further with with solid state um, technologies with with our three D NAND technologies. You know, we were we we're leading the industry in 64-layer uh, 3D NAND, and, and just yesterday we announced 96-layer uh, 3D NAND. So pushing that, pushing those limits even further, so that we can uh, provide higher capacities in smaller footprints and lower power um, in mobile devices and out on the edge to, to to drive all these exciting opportunities in in IoT and AI. It's crazy. So it is, yeah, it, it it's is crazy. It's be yeah. ter, you know terabyte SD cards, terabyte micro SD cards. I mean, the amount of, of, of power that you guys pack in these smaller and smaller right. packages right. is it's it's magical. I mean, it's right. absolutely magic. Right. Yeah, and the same uh, same goes on the other end of the spectrum, right? With with high high capacity devices, our our uh, our uh, helium filled drives are, are getting higher and higher in capacity. 10, 12, 14 terabyte uh, uh, high high capacity devices for for that you know, big data core that all the data has to end up at, at some point. So we're trying to keep a balance of pushing the, pushing the limits on, uh, on both ends. All right, well Dave, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your busy day and uh, congratulations on all your success. Great. Great to be here. All right, he's Dave Tang from Western Digital. He's changing your world, my world, and everyone else's. We're here at San Jose. You're watching theCUBE, thanks for watching.